Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guide here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. Today we're going to be reviewing another legendary weapon and uh, the pick of today's uh, episode will be this guy right here, the legendary Logan's Gun Pistol, which is uh, a returning favourite from Borderlands uh, 1, quite an interesting, sorry Borderlands 2, quite an interesting gun really, uh, because the main thing about it is uh, not actually the gun itself, uh, the way it shoots, that kind of thing, but uh, we'll get into all of that. So, uh, yeah, let's start off as always by showing you how to get it in the pre-sequel. So, how do you get the Logan's gun? Well, it's not actually available from a uh, boss drop, unfortunately, which means, as with a lot of weapons in the pre-sequel, it's either random drops, uh, random world drops from bosses, which is very rare, uh, also random finds in vending machines and things like that, which again is very rare, or there is the... Uh, the easier to get method but not always guaranteed uh, which is the grinder so today I'm going to be getting it out of the grinder and showing you guys uh, exactly how to get it but basically you just need to use the grinding recipe which is uh, two legendary weapons any legendary weapons you want obviously the higher level uh, you put in the uh, the more guaranteed you are of getting a higher level out of it and also a um, legend sorry a purple rarity pistol so two legendary weapons of any type and a purple rarity pistol will get you the uh, the recipe for a legendary weapon of course if you want to moonstone grind it as well that'll give you a guaranteed chance of a legendary but normal grinding will give you a very high chance of one as well so let's get a little overview of this pistol and uh, go through its stats and uh, what it's about so the logan's gun is a legendary hyperion incendiary pistol always comes in the fire prefix uh, it's obtained randomly from any loot source, but has an increased chance to drop from uh, the grinder. It's also a returner from Baldwin's 2, in which Wilhelm dropped it in the map end of the line. So, the red text says Gun Gunner. Uh, we'll go into the red text meaning later, but always incendiary. Rounds explode once on contact, then continue travelling if they have not stuck an inert surface, wall ground, etc. Once they strike an inert surface, there is a small delay followed by a small second explosion. Rounds qualify as rockets for the purpose of shield absorption. Again, we'll go into that soon. Uh, the weapon is a variant of the Hyperion Vision from Borderlands 2 with a standard Hyperion barrel, though functionally it is an E-Tech spiker with an added penetration ability. Unlike a standard spike of the rounds from Logan's gun explode instantly on contact making it less difficult to use since there is no delay before finding out if a round is actually hit or not. Shots fired then hit enemies will do normal damage to them however upon hitting a surface the projectile detonates three times in rapid succession dealing the weapon's damage on each explosion. Because of this property, Logan's gun is most effective when aiming for the ground under an enemy. It can also be used to lay down damaging walls of fire of the ground that can hit enemies quick. Uh, it comes in a variety of different prefixes, which is, includes the win-win, uh, which is damage increase, the maximized is the mag size increase, the core Logan's gun is better stability, redundant Logan's gun is time to projectiles, Dynamic Logan's gun is increased fire rate, earnest is accuracy, action is melee and hot button is uh, just a normal bog standard Logan's gun. So as you can see right now we're comparing it to another legendary pistol of the same kind of variant and uh, I've decided to go for the Shooterang. So as you can see compared to the Shooterang at the same level the damage um, is a lot less as is the fire rate, reload speed and mag size so uh, the Shooterang kind of outclasses it in every single way apart from accuracy but if you look at the uh, uh, just under the red text on the Logan's gun it's actually got minus 30% weapon accuracy anyway so it's probably not that accurate and uh, yeah it's quite outclassed compared to uh, to the shooter round, which is not the best legendary pistol you can get by a long way uh, but like I said there is another purpose to the Logan's gun what really makes it better than uh, a lot of pistols and uh, we'll discuss that now so what actually makes the Logan's gun a lot better than other pistols is it has a second use uh, and not just a gun it's also a great little weapon and the only weapon really apart from rocket launchers 
that uh, when used with a sham shield, which is an absorb shield and will absorb ammo for you, if you shoot the Logan's gun down at the floor while uh, a sham shield is equipped, it will actually regenerate rocket launcher ammo for you. Now, a lot of people did this and have seen this uh, in Borderlands 2, especially when you were using a rocket jumping gun Zerka. Um, but yeah, basically, equip a sham shield and the Logan's gun if you run out of rocket ammo and uh, it will actually regenerate it for free now the benefit of this is rocket ammo is very expensive and if you do like using rocket launchers um, you can actually just basically get the logan's gun and uh, you've got infinite rocket ammo as much as you want of it so uh, yeah definitely a brilliant weapon for that one uh, i suggest if you do like doing that the lower the level of the uh, logan's gun the better it will give you the same amount of projectiles and rocket ammo no matter what but it will give you the uh, the free ammo and it won't damage you as much because uh, although the sham shield does absorb a lot of bullets the the fire element of the logan's gun as well as the the higher level of it can damage your shield so uh, make sure uh, if you're liking the uh, ultimate vault on the mode playthrough or true vault on the mode try and get a logan's gun in playthrough one and uh, if you want to just solely use it for that purpose that is the best way to do it so just before I get on to my thoughts about this weapon, uh, it is also worth noting that the explosions from the Logan's gun uh, receive damage bonuses from Amplify Shields as well, which is uh, worth noting. And uh, also a little bit of trivia about the red text which I mentioned earlier. It says Gun Gunner on it. Now I've recently covered this in an Easter Egg and Secrets Guide video, but for those of you that might not have seen that, that is actually a direct reference to the, uh, the film Logan's Run. Uh, which is where the name of this gun comes from. So the film's called Logan's Run, and there's a quote in that film called Run Runner. Um, and obviously in Borderlands they've made uh, an Easter egg out of this and called it the Logan's Gun with the red text Gun Gunner. So uh, that's everything to uh, to know about the Logan's Gun, really. What are my thoughts on it? Well, it's not an amazing gun, really. I will say that right now. Um, Obviously I'm making this look a, a bit easier than it actually is because I'm using Nisha with a tombstone skill and uh, it's actually uh, showdown it really helps as well with it. Uh, on a normal character I don't think I'd be as effective as I am now. Um, again these enemies are quite easy as well. Uh, they are tough in a way but it's the fact that um, they're quite high level um, and don't have a resistance to fire. Uh, sorry, not quite high level. They're quite an okay level and don't have a resistance to fire. Uh, if you take this further on into the game, uh, they do start resisting fire and uh, it really doesn't help at all. And uh, it takes a long time to uh, get their health off them. But, uh, yeah, for the fact that um, it regens rocket ammo, that is good enough for me as it is. And it's not too bad a weapon, really. Um, it's not the worst legendary weapon in the game, for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'd really just keep this uh, with you. If you're a fan of rocket launchers, get yourself a sham and get yourself some free ammo. But apart from that, I really would not use this with any character um, to do a lot of damage with. But if you want to go ahead and pick it up and give it a try out yourself, that is fair enough. Anyway, that is another Ultimate Vault Under Mode and Legendary Weapon Guide. That is the Logan's Gun Pistol here on Borderlands Pre-Sequel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.